I'm very excited. I can't stop moving. I'm trying so hard to just like, yeah, stay still. I love poetry slams. It's very, very fun. Um, they're nervous, they're excited, they're scared. So there's a lot of energy going on. I am Frank Centuali, Compass Teaching Artist. So this is the first annual Youth Springs Hope Poetry Slam, um, sponsored and put on by Rochester STEM Academy and the Rochester Civic Theater. And the idea is bringing youth together through spoken word poetry to bring communities together here in Rochester. Sky Cry. Why me? A question everyone tends to ask. Yes, I am just like you, a human being. It seems you think I walk around with a bully me mask. My poem that I'm doing alone is actually a bullying poem. Um, it's a personal poem, it's a true story. Uh, I actually was bullied through elementary school and middle school, so I'm kind of giving them a piece of what made me, me. This generation is such a disgrace, you pick on little things such as race, you pick on broken people but you really don't realize until guilt kisses you on the cheek and you see you're the reason that person dies. They can't see it, they don't even try, but I can feel it every blink of an eye when the clouds go gray and the sky begins to cry. Sky cry. My aunt that just recently passed, she told me how to let out my inner emotions that I can't explain out on paper. So pretty much poetry started back from like when I was like 10, I should say, is when I started writing. And um, pretty much it's like, it can be like anger relief or it can be like my weeping like way to get everything out. Picture this. Society a thrift store. Every person the clothing with tags and labels. Making others worth more and more worth less. Everybody has their label, but you chose to put yours onto yourself. I am Tierra Felder, and I do poetry now with the Boys and Girls Club on the Uprising Voices team. So the poem I'm performing, it does not currently have a name, I'm still trying to think of one, is about this girl that I've known for years at my elementary school who basically changed. She kind of changed her way into being the stereotype for women, and I had to watch from a side her just being that way, and how a lot of other girls at my school choose to do that too, for no nothing else but for the other gender and for themselves. You're allowing them to take over your mind. They don't care. They're playing with your emotions like puppets on a string. When have you become the stereotype of women? Do I choose to repeat what they say or does it make me one of them? Maybe they're right. I apologize. I just miss you. I miss the you that nobody else sees anymore. Where did you go? That is all. The youth are the future. And we need to make sure that they are collaborating in community. Regardless of what the past looks like, the focus is on making sure that the Muslim youth, the Catholic youth, the atheist youth, the Lutheran youth, all the youth have a voice and find their commonalities. And that's what the poetry does. When they write their poetry, all of a sudden, that stuff doesn't matter. It's the common human experience that as adults we forget and it separates us. Well, the young people are finding their common human experiences through their literature and through their poetry and through their performance. And to me, that's what it's all about.